Hey guys, so this is my friend Zulika and today we're going to be doing her makeup and we're going to be going for a classic wing and a red lip with really polished skin. So if you want to find out how to do that, keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start with skin first and we're going to prep the skin with a bit of oil control lotion by MAC. Um, and I'm going to use this one because zuli has got combination skin where it tends to get slightly oilier through the centre. Um, and what this product does, it just helps to control the oil where you do tend to get the most oiliest. So I'm just working that through the centre and then working my way outwards. Next up, we're going to be going in with a primer and I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. And this is going to give a matte finish to the skin and it's also going to help to um, minimise the look of pores as well. So I'm mainly just going to concentrate that through the centre. I'm just going to take a tiny bit more. Yeah, I found that I, if I use it, I do, do use quite a bit of it, but it is a good primer. So with skincare, I like to let that settle in for a few minutes before I go into any like foundation or anything like that. So the primer's had time to settle into the skin. I've never actually used that primer before. Um, and we were just talking about this off camera, like it kind of leaves your skin a little bit tacky, but also gives it like a nice matte finish. So we'll see how that works out for us. It looks nice though. Yeah, it does feel nice. I like using So for skin, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown BBU palette and this comes with um, your concealer colours all along here and then when you flip it over, oh if I can even do that, you have the foundation colours here as well and this is really really great in your kit um, if you're going to be using or needing like a range of colours. Obviously this isn't something... <laughs> you're just laughing at that. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe we need to tell them that... Uh... We live in a shared house, so like. yeah. So this is Zuli's house, and um, obviously there's other people living here, so it's not just random people. Yeah, or, or like ghosts yeah. just going across um, like that. <clears throat> but yeah, like I was saying, obviously this isn't a product for you know for everyday use for everyone, but it's really great in your kit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Mac. 170 brush which looks like that to apply this to Zuli's skin um, and we want to keep it looking quite fresh and we zuli has got freckles so we still want to see them coming through I don't want to go for anything that's like a really full um, thick coverage so we'll keep it looking really nice and natural um, but a really good benefit of this product as well is that you can kind of play it up to be whatever coverage that you want it to be if you want it to be quite sheer then you can or if you can you can go in with a little bit more to get a bit more coverage if you want to as well what i'm kind of doing is stippling the product in and then buffing it slightly so i'm not doing too much buffing um because zuli says when she does that herself like she de tends to find that what the skin does is like micro exfoliation so you'll find that the dead skin cells just lift off the skin if you're doing that quite a lot and you'll probably find that with dry skin you'll get that quite a lot so i would probably tend to avoid doing quite severe like buffing motions if you do have dry skin and you find that product isn't sitting as well that's probably the reason why do you like the look at that yeah i think that like here yeah looks so nice, nice. Isn't it? yeah I'm going to switch to a smaller brush and this is the 287 by MAC. Oh look, YouTube moment. Oh. <laughs> um, and this is a duo fibre and I'm going to use this one for concealer and the corrector just around the eye area. So you'll notice I haven't really put foundation around there purely because I think the skin around there is so fine and so thin. The less product that you've got around there, the more natural that it's going to look. And I generally tend to start on the inner part of the eye as well. Um because that's where you tend to find that you that it's a little bit deeper in colour and where it needs most of the correcting to be. Really <laughs> We're going to move on to the eyes now and I'm going to use a 217 by MAC, so any fluffy brush and I'm just going to take a tiny bit of soft ochre which is a paint pot and I'm just going to dust a tiny bit of that onto the eyelid just because I kind of want to neutralise the tone across there and it might need to lift up for me perfect. So we're going to add a tiny bit of like um, a shimmery shadow just on the lid and this is the Solar Glow Times 9 palette by MAC and I'm going to take the colour which is the one right at the top in the middle, this colour here, that one. And I'm going to use my finger to apply that. I'm actually going to lift your head type, perfect. 
and again I don't want it to be like too concentrated you kind of just want it like a really nice light dusting So you can see with the shadow it just gives the eyes a little bit of a sheen, um, nothing too much. I'm just going to go in with um, a black eye pencil and this one is from Natural Collection. Um, so I'm just going inside of the tight line here right at the top and is that okay? Yeah, it's alright. I'm going to pop a tiny bit of the liner on the waterline so if you look up and that way for me. Perfect. And then up and that way. I'm just taking a tiny bit of the liner along the lash line and then I'm just going to blend it in with a pencil brush. And then I pulled it back in just to add a tiny bit of depth and definition along the lash line and it down for me and then I'm going to keep this really close to the lashes these are amazing these are q-tips from Muji and they're super thin so if you're doing any like liner work or anything like that and you want it to have like a really crisp edge I definitely recommend these you can literally just do that and it's so good love them great in your kit as well so turn your head this way for me and then this way i think with the eyes yeah i think we'll leave the liner like that i'm just gonna curl the lashes and pop on some mascara so if you look down for me i'm going to use the half lash curlers why are you laughing because they're so nice small baby um whoops <laughs> I nearly kicked the camera over. Um, we're going to use these small ones. I like these small lash curlers because I feel like it gives a really good curl to the lash. Um, and you can catch all of the lashes as well. I'm actually really terrified of these baby eyelash curlers. I have no idea why. Look down for me. Um, place my thumb, just as I did with the liner, place my thumb. And how's that pressure? Is that alright? And I give it a few squeezes you're so gentle and then look down for me and then how's that pressure Sorry. yeah cool we're going to go back into the solar glow times nine palette so we've just taken the um pencil to create that wing shape and i'm just going to set it and i'm going to use the darkest brown shade brownie grey shade, oh look, where is it? Just at the bottom there. Um, again, on a pencil brush. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Bad model. So that powder that we've just popped on top of the pencil will just help it to keep it in place and also just smoke it out a little bit as well. I'm gonna add mascara just after I've powdered and the powder that I'm gonna use is the Next to Nothing Powder by MAC and I'm just gonna use the 217 brush that we used earlier. Um, for the soft ochre paint pot and I'm just going to dust that around the eye area um, and this is a really nice powder because it's super fine so it doesn't look too heavy on the skin okay now that we've powdered we're just going to add mascara I'm going to use the NYX full figured mascara which looks like that and if you look down for me and I'm just going to lift your chin up perfect And then with mascara, when I'm doing it on someone else, I just like to pop my thumb there so it just catches all of the excess product oh, so it doesn't cool. imprint on the eyelid. Yeah, it's a really good mascara. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. That's only, I think it's like... NYX full-figured mascara. You get a thumbs up. Yeah. So I've zoomed you in to the lip area and we're going to go for a red lip and I'm going to use um, Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick from MAC and this is in the shade Feels So Grand and I'm going to apply that with a 228 brush which looks like that 
and I like this brush because the shape of it is really good to create that round cupid's bow shape you can as well if you want to of course use the actual applicator and the applicator on these on these is really really good and with this brush you can literally just kind of imprint the shape that you want and open from here a bit more So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of mid-tone sepia, which is a cream colour base from MAC, on a 159 brush, which is a duo fibre. And I'm just going to pull that onto the cheek and just... along the tops of the cheekbones as well. We're just going to fill in the brows a tiny bit. And for that, we're going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is amazing. Um, so you've got the spoolie on one side and then the pencil on the other. And this is in the shade Ash Brown. What I've done already on this brow is I've started on the arch. We're keeping the natural shape of Zuli's brows, which is kind of giving them a little bit more depth. Um, so kind of just filling it in. And then as I get towards the front, I'm following the natural way that the brows are growing, which is straight up. So I'm just lifting it a tiny bit and then just adding a bit of colour in. But these pencils are so good. And then to set the brows, I'm going to take the NYX Brow Mascara. And this is in Black Noir. So this is a little bit darker than Zuli's brow colour. But I think that really, I think it's going to work well with the red lip. And I'm not going to have too much product on there. I just want it to set the brows and just to add a bit more depth to them. That's the finished look guys. So we've gone for a really classic um, polished skin with a bright red lip and a smoky wing. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and if you do have any questions then please do pop them in the comments down below and I will answer them as best as I can. Um, if you have any more requests of what looks you'd like to see please do also let me know what they are um, so I can film some more video for you, videos for you guys. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys. So this is my friend Zulika, um, but we call her Zuli. So she, what was it? <laughs> That's it. That's all. I'm all. That's it. <laughs> She's just picking up my lady tash. <laughs> come on, we're nearly there. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, she's on the floor. <laughs> it's been a really long day. <laughs> right, okay.